Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with my Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie 3.7. And I want to show you, in my opinion, the best emulator for the Raspberry Pi and RetroPie. It's called Final Burn Alpha. It's an arcade emulator and it's also known as FBA. But now probably the reason this is my favorite is because I grew up in the arcade. I grew up playing six player X-Men, Alien vs. Predator, Dungeons and Dragons, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs on a real arcade machine that you fed real quarters, not tokens. And I just had such a good time and it brings me back, you know, to those days. Um, nowadays, you know, you go to a so-called arcade and you have Dance Dance Revolution 47, uh, the giant claw machines, the cut the rope to win the iPad, you got the big old screen with the um, slash slash revolution, what's it called, cut the rope, and uh, you know, I mean, Wheel of Fortune. Now, ski ball's okay with me, I've always loved ski ball, so keep the ski ball machines in there. But we need to get some good 2D action arcade games. Like, I grew up playing, you know, Street Fighter Street Fighter 2 in the arcade, Mortal Kombat, like I said, X-Men 6-player, Children of the Atom, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, real good arcade games. So, Final Burn Alpha brings me back. I guess that's what it is. Um, and Final Burn Alpha is amazing because, you know... A lot of you guys have tried to run MAME, and you get these games you really want to play and they just don't work. Most of those games that you get will work with Final Burn Alpha. Now I've put together my uh, little collection here, and only two of these games don't work. Um, I believe it's Street Fighter, Street Fighter Third Strike, and... Um, I want to say Children of the Atom. I'm going to launch this and see if I am correct. Yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to work on getting these, you know, Children of the Atom working. But other than that, there are so many awesome arcade games that work with Final Burn Alpha. Now, you load up your ROMs just like you would. You put them in the FBA folder in your RetroPie. And there's no BIOS required, at least for the games that I'm running. Now, that might be the problem with these other games, why they're not running. Um, I have heard rumor that the Neo Geo BIOS is needed for some games to run. But everything that I have here, besides two games, runs beautifully. I'm going to get right into it. The performance is amazing. This is the Raspberry Pi 3 with no overclock at all, just straight out of the box. RetroPie 3.7 put on it. I am using a wired SNES USB controller from eBay, and they're like three bucks from China. Order a bunch of them, they're worth it. So I'm going to get into it here Alien vs. Predator. Now, I did not have to set up my controller at all. Um, it just worked after, you know, your initial setup of your controller with RetroPie. So select will be insert coin. And if you look down here, my credits, when I press select, it inserts another coin. And I'll press start on the controller. Which will bring me into the character selection screen. And I'm just going to be Hunter Predator. And all the settings um, for the FBA, I've left them stock, and we'll go through that in a second. But I just wanted to show you some gameplay. This works really, really well. And um, this is a must-have if you're building an arcade machine. This uh, emulator is just really, really good. So I'm going to grab my super ammo, super magazine, and I can just start blasting these aliens. Ooh, I didn't know the Predator liked salad. But this is, uh, I believe, up to... I think this is two-player. Yeah, 
and you got four characters to choose from, but this was such a good game when it was in the arcade. I many times wasted lots of money on this game. So as you can see, this game runs amazing um, in Final Burn Alpha. Press start and select. That'll bring you back to your game selection screen. And I have scraped all of my artwork here. And most, most of the ROMs had artwork to download. Another really good game is Dungeons & Dragons here. What does it say here? I know I'm not pronouncing that right, so. Insert coin. Shadows of Mistara, I guess. So I insert coin by pressing select, press start. Now this is a really awesome game. Um, we did, we had this in our local Aladdin's Castle, which is our old arcade that we had here, my local area. So I've chosen the mage. And he kind of looks like um, Rick from Rick and Morty. But the cool thing about this was it was, it was really ahead of its time here. Um, you have all of these selections that you can... And depending on how your controller set up will, you know, the controls will vary. But you can regain your uh, magic ability by picking up chests and items off the ground. But this game with two players is so much fun. I definitely recommend you getting this game. Now we need to save these ladies. There we are. So yeah, this is actually a pretty decent um, arcade game, and the length is... It's not too long, and it's not too short of a game for an arcade. But we'll press Start Select. JoJo's Venture is another one that didn't work. Now this runs um, the Capcom arcade machines. And I'm just, I'm going to look into it and see if I need a BIOS, but this is just like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for Dreamcast. Knights of the Round is another awesome game. Uh, Mega Man 2, Power Fighters. Uh, Ninja Baseball Batman, which is really off the wall, pretty cool. Shadow Warriors, Turtles in Time, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Punisher, Simpsons. Vampire uh, Savior 2, which is Darkstalkers 2. And I will try the Mega Man 2 Power Fighters. I never had this game in any of my arcades. Uh, it says it's a U.S. You know, US um, arcade machine, but I've never seen it in the arcade. It's actually pretty fun. We'll do Proto Man. Will rescue roll. Cut man. That was pretty much just a Street Fighter esque, you know, Mega Man type game, but you just have your blaster. So it's just Mega Man boss battles, pretty much. 
And they're much easier than, let's say, a Mega Man game. If you don't know the uh, sequence that the uh, boss is going. I'm back out of here. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I recommend you finding, getting your um, arcade ROMs together and testing them in Final Burn Alpha because a lot of these that did not work with MAME work in Final Burn Alpha, and I am super stoked to have this. I'm going to expand my ROM collection because my favorite games of all time are Sue. 2D side-scrolling adventure games like the Alien vs. Predator, the um, Dungeons and Dragons I showed you. Super simple to set up, and I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you need any help setting this up, just let me know, and I will do my best to help you out. Uh, if you could. Hit that like button and subscribe because that really helps me out a lot and it keeps me motivated, keeps me going. I have some tutorials I'm working on now for a lot of stuff on RetroPie. If you have any requests, let me know. And like always, thanks for watching.